everyone. I am um, doing my setup for my new Traveler's Notebook that I got at Joann's yesterday. And I am just trying to document before and then after. Um, so I'm just showing, I'm just showing you like a glimpse of what it looks like kind of just bare and undecorated. And then at the end, I'll probably just do a walkthrough of my completed setup. So, um, right now my desk is like a crazy mess. As you can see, I have my, um, charm, my beads out to do my charm. So I did just make this cute, oops, sorry, out of frame. Um, it's like a... It's just for tr like my tr it's travel inspired. Sorry, I can't talk. So um, I just made it little and lightweight because it's going to hang on the side. So I don't want it heavy. And I'm actually going to end up taking it off this elastic part because I don't want it on there um, for too long. And so I am making a bookmark. I've started this side. And then um, right now the other side is empty, but it will eventually, this charm will eventually hang off of that. And so um, those are my beads that I'm gonna use. I just stopped to document my empty notebook <laughs> and I remembered like, oh, I was gonna do that. So this is the situation right now. And um, this is, I'm gonna open it up. This is what it looks like empty. And um, this is gonna be my travel. My travel one, I have multiple others, um, well three other ones that I use for other purposes and um, this one I'm going to get it set up for uh, the vacation we have coming up next week. So I've got three books in here right now. I believe if I have time I'm going to try to make another one and then I'm also going to try for the first time to do a dashboard or two. Um, so I guess I hope to see you when I get back for the next part of my video. Hey everyone, I'm back to show you my, I guess, finished prep work of my notebook. I was going to, um, well what I did was I just got it all together and set up so that we could take this on our upcoming trip to Arizona to go see our, my grandma and my daughter's great grandma and that's gonna be happening in the next couple days. So I'm glad I got this done to get everything and set up pretty much took me about two days. And that's with a lot of lollygagging and sitting and staring out the window and watching some TV and YouTube, of course. So um, anyway, without further ado, I will show you the inside and give you an idea of, uh, I guess what my notebook looks like. Now I know there's like a ton, well now I know there's a ton of uh, walkthroughs or like the setup, the, what is it, the Traveler's Notebooks setups, but um, I guess I'm just going to add to another one. Mine is a little bit different and I pretty much pulled a lot of inspiration from some other YouTubers to create mine. So um, there are. Okay, I had to step away for a second. My husband came in the house and he promised me he'd stay outside and I get a little um, self-conscious when he comes in and I'm recording, so. <laughs> uh, anywho, so hopefully we I'm excited any... that I got everything done in time. I actually just whipped together this um, little uh, notebook for Arizona because um, of some of the ephemera I packed in my travel bag didn't really match what I had going on inside my book so and it doesn't really match this um but anyway so I purchased this from Joann's last week when they had their pre-president's day weekend sale I'm not I'm not sure but I've been waiting for my location to get this one and it's like the champagne colored and at first I didn't really like it, but I, I, after watching some other YouTubers, I fell in love with the color. Normally I go for the brights and the new, the other kinds of neutrals, so uh, maybe that's why I like it. I'm not sure, but I do, I love it, and I'm really glad that I bought it. So the first thing I did was I made some charms. 
So I've been really into the bookmarks. So um, it's kind of dim dark, or kind of dark in here. Let me move this. See if I, there we go. Uh, so I made two for this book journey because we're going on a journey. We're going to grandma's house. So we're leaving the state. And then I made like a cute little one. I hadn't done any of those. So I made, I don't know if you can see that one, just a little small one with a couple of beads there. And then I also did a bow, a lace bow on just a little clip, super easy. And then this one took me a little longer because I had to um, make each charm, I guess or wire wrap a little bit some of the charms but there's a little suitcase and a space needle because we live in the Pacific Northwest so and then a little airplane and as you can see it's pretty full but it literally only took me like two and a half days to make everything uh, but that is I did have uninterrupted crafting time so it probably would have taken me a little bit longer if I hadn't had my husband here to help me out with the house um, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. I do have three pens here that uh, don't contribute to the bulk of my notebook, which I really like that. And then um, on the side, I was kind of unsure what to do over here, but um, I think I'll figure it out as I go, as I start using my notebook. But um, I made some paper clips. So all of these um, paper clips I made Again, really easy to make. <clears throat> Excuse me. These were made from the dollar spot at Target. Just some whoop, craft, supp craft supplies that I got there at the dollar spot. And then this is some Hobby, Lo a Hobby Lobby embellishment. And then these are from Freckled Fawn. I have some folded up stickers here. And then I did do some washi tape. The washi tape acetates I guess and then I've got just some other little stickers here for traveling on the road so most of those are um, just random bits that I pulled from my stash that I thought I could use I also made this uh, notebook and what I did was I stitched around but I did I did staple I didn't stitch the spine which you can see in here but um I wanted some pockets which I totally forgot to do on this one because I'm in a rush but um I just wanted some pockets in case I want to take this out and I had planned for this to be my phoenix journal but again uh it's not matching up with the ephemera and the embellishments I'm going to use and that's that will bug me so I'll figure something else out for it um but in the meantime yeah so this is my dashboard I um made it out of just this sheet protector because I can't find my laminate paper anywhere. It's totally annoying me. And then this is a Heidi Swap uh, pocket insert for one of her planners. And um, I just, I tried to fuse two of them together and it did not work. So I ended up just using some washi tape, or excuse me, and then I ended up trying to stitch it and my, my sewing machine, the bobbin kept jamming and it just looked like an awful hot mess. So I just washi taped it and um, I really don't like it in here. So I'm probably going to take that out before we leave. And then this one I plan on using for um, a gar my gardening. Um, I'm trying to educate myself on how to garden because I've never really gardened. And now that I'm home all the time, I'd really like to um, try that out. So I didn't really like this cover. This is a Webster's, one of the add-ons you can get for, from Webster's Pages, and it comes in a two-pack. And I just really wasn't a fan of this. I don't know why. I'm not sure. But anyway, I love it now. I embellished it with some paper flowers that I had. I'm not sure if you can even tell. But I thought this one would be perfect for my gardening, and so we're going to try that. And then I added some lace with my hot glue gun to the edges. Super easy. That's the other part of my Heidi Swap dashboard and then my other dashboard. I added lace here to hold my pen. And it need, I was kind of an idiot when I did that because I used a big pen. And so now it doesn't really fit my small pens in there very well. But hey, it's trial and error and I'm learning as I go. So, but we're going to use it anyway. 
And then I did a shaker pocket because who doesn't love shaker pockets? I don't know, I love them. And this was the book I was gonna use to document our Phoenix trip, but I um, will figure something out for this also. Maybe for a different vacation, but um, yeah, that's as far as I got. Again, I added lace here, and we're from Seattle, so I, um, we're, I'm in a wine club. There's a winery in Eastern Washington that um, we go visit every year. We decided, hey, why not join the wine club? I mean, I love wine and being a part of a club, hey. <laughs> so um, they sent, we got our wine last, or this month, I guess, because it's February. I keep forgetting that. And they, in their flyer, they had Seattle summer and then Seattle winter, and I just cut it out of their newsletter. And then this clip is in here to hold my pen, which I love. And um, my last insert here is a freckled fawn, what's it called? Their embellishment kit. I used to be a part of their kit club. And a YouTuber, a fellow YouTuber, um, I, I ran across, came across one of her videos where she literally just stitched it and stitched some other stuff. Mine's a little bit different because she uses hers as a wallet. I'm definitely not going to use mine as my wallet because... That never works for me, unfortunately. I would love it if it did, because I did love how she, what she did with hers. But um, I'm gonna keep some Instax film or pictures here because I'm taking my Instax camera. So, but she puts gift cards in here, and I'm bringing some ephemera, like some Maggie Holmes ephemera, and it fits really nicely in there. I just have to clip it to keep it in, and then. Um, and then I have tags in a little pocket here. Again, I did it differently, but it's just how it worked out for me. And then this is like a perfect pen holder. So it holds some of my extra pens. I mean, it could hold anything really, but that's what I use it for. And then I have some more stickers back here in this pocket. So yeah, um, that's my little quick, easy flip through of my notebook. I'm excited to take it on the plane with me and look like a crazy crafter girl because I totally am going to bust out my watercolors and my watercolor pen on the airplane, but whatever, don't care. Um, and then I just need to figure out a place for these extra notebooks um, to fit in here, which I, there's, there's still room. I don't want to overstuff it, um, but there's still a little bit of room. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about um, how I did anything or um, just want to ask me anything, feel free to leave it in the comments. Please subscribe if you like my videos so you can see future ones. Thanks, guys. Bye.